you wake up in the morning and then after you waking up you go to the washroom and where you going to see the phone and you going to check internet twitter news etc and then come out of the washroom and then when you are exercising you going to listen to audio book and then after that you going to get ready for the work so you will eat breakfast and while doing that you going to see news on the phone or check messages or emails and while commuting to the work you going to listen to podcasts or songs or you going to see some jokes or you going to see some youtube and instagram such stuff and when you go to the work you going to be working and in between you going to see some video so that you can get relief and when you going to eat lunch you going to do the same again you going to check the phone or you going to listen to some songs and when you come back to the work you going to work and then once you going to go back to the home you going to listen to some radio or some songs or you do something and when you go back to the home and you want to relax so that's finally you going to put some tv show or netflix or something and then before you go to the sleep you going to check your phone and then you sleep and then you repeat it again and again did you see what happened here you are constantly being bombarded by someone else voice and you are unable to be with your own voice there's a term for it it is called solitude deprivation it is nothing but spending zero time zero time with your own thoughts and feelings and that is called solitude deprivation if you see what you did all the day you are indirectly being reactive not creative we can be creative when we are with our own thoughts but you are being reactive you are reacting or responding to someone else emails or messages or someone else statements or you're just reacting to something that you're seeing if you keep on reacting but not creating then how can you be a critical thinker critical thinking requires that you need to spend your own time with your thoughts and feelings and can get some insights from your lessons we are unable to spend time with our own thoughts and not even 5 minutes even 5 minutes guys I'm just asking you this just remember that how much time did you spend today thinking about yourself and uh, what uh, lessons are you going to implement and uh, what are your thoughts saying what are the lessons see no one is doing that if you keep on doing that there will be no creativity or there will be no clarity in life especially if you see teenagers this is even worse they are having so many mental breakdowns and depression and anxiety and uh, the suicide rates and everything is so high these days because of this they are unable to spend some time with their own thoughts and feelings and they are unable to process their emotions so that's why they don't know who they are so they just don't know who they are they're just constantly listening to lots of things and constantly being in virtual world so that they don't know themselves anymore there is a study that got conducted where they shown that uh, they are developing low grade anxiety actually there's a low grade anxiety that's keep on being build up in the mind and even though they do not have any problems they are feeling it see if you are constantly seeing the news and if you're seeing all the crimes and wars and everything what happens is that you going to develop some kind of anxiety see the brain is still mammalian so it's like still hundreds of thousands of years back so that's why it can't differentiate what's happening to you or others joseph campbell said something that is very powerful here that is to have a room for yourself for at least an hour daily so that you can be with your own thoughts and feelings and not be concerned by anything at all don't bring your phone also and also swami vivekananda a great saint said that if you do not spend some time talking with your own self then you're going to miss the greatest person on that day so that greatest person is you well there are some practical things that we can do journaling journaling is a great thing that you are literally talking with yourself by journaling your thoughts and what is your future purpose and like what you're going to do everything like that or you can do meditation meditation is the best way to see your own thoughts and do not react to it i'm just asking you to see your own thoughts and process your own emotions or you can do what cal newport says that to keep shut down complete after some time you're not going to use phone and you're going to be completely present with your family or your friends we can also do this right when you're driving don't listen to fm or podcast just spend the time with yourself or when you're running concentrate on running because when you concentrate on that you gonna get so many nice and useful thoughts and it could literally change your life finally just remember that humans are not wired to be constantly wired arigatou gozaimasu thank you so much for watching want to say subscribe yeah thank you <laughs>